<laughs> Damn coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry, you'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. And after a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, everyone! Yeah! 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you, I take you to, to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to hold better, you for better or for worse, for, worse, for better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to love and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What's happening? 
Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on to What's it. happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please! Don't this call her! Good. Give her air! Damn! I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, the ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said How I don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Gotcha. Arthur, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Well, oh. Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I feel like I have to do the bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about So, son, care to tell me what do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. <laughs> I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, 
This is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Aurora here. Reading you loud and clear. Over. Colonel, sir. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. I see. This one requires some repairs. This will hold us back. Regardless, the plan stands. We rendezvous at the dam. How is the general situation there? Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church from there. Caught your friend, but I can see you're two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
Jesus, you piece of shit! Uh, ah, you fucker! Thanks, bro! Just untie me now! Don't leave me here, man! There's lots of fucking wolves here! Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear! Ah, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves! I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You sure have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened.